Hi and welcome to this new series. This is the last part web design from start to finish and today I will show you how I create our Black Friday landing page in Webflow. So let's get started. Hey friends, Kabarza here and welcome back to Flux, the best place to learn web design, freelance and Webflow. So this is the third video of this new series, uh, web design from start to finish. If you haven't watched the first two videos, I highly recommend you go and watch them. I'll make sure to add them in the description below. In the first one, Ron shows how to go from an idea to a wireframe. And then in the second video, Ismail takes the wireframe and he creates this beautiful design that you see here. Uh, and today in the last one, I'm going to turn that design that we have uh, into a fully functioning uh, website uh, using Webflow and I share the process uh, alongside with you. So let's get started. So for this build, we have these five steps to go through each uh, as shown here, and I'll make sure to explain each one of them and the thought process behind them. Starting with the first one, understanding the design and analyzing what we are working with. Um, because this project is not going to be built from zero and we are building this on top of what we already have, um, there are existing sections and CSS classes that we don't want to uh, necessarily create all from zero, but we can just copy from um, the other pages and maybe modify them or just use them as they are. So it's important to go through uh, the whole workflow project. This is what I'm doing here, uh, seeing what we have on our design and uh, what elements that are already built in the Webflow project so I can just copy them over or modify them easily. Second step is fairly straightforward and simple. I'm just going through the design, exporting all the images and the assets uh, using Figma and I'm exporting everything at 2x so um, the, the images will look sharp on high resolution screens and also on Retina devices. Uh, but using the 2x to export everything will make the images heavy that's why i'm going to use this awesome tool called tiny png to process the images and uh, reduce their sizes without um, uh, having uh, without taking a hit on their uh, quality this way everything will stay uh, sharp without being too heavy uh, for the browser to load there is also something else to note i see some color uh, in the shadows of the assets we have in the hero section as you see here um, they look nice when they are just static like this in the design but i can imagine if i start moving them um, the color of the shadow casting on the background because the background is black and looks like infinity um, the shadow being present there wouldn't make much sense so we want to just cast the shadow on top of the uh, letters themselves and not the background uh, there's just a simple trick i can think about uh, right now and it's making the the shadow just black or uh, dark so it wouldn't show up uh, on the background but just on the letters for that i'm just going to use photoshop uh, to turn those colors uh, in the shadows to black and also as you see there are some harsh edges uh, from the 3D elements I'm uh, just using uh, masks in Photoshop to also uh, erase those and make them as smooth as possible. In the third step we are going to build the whole thing inside of Webflow. Uh, I'm going to start with setting the background color on the body page uh, because this is the um, the first thing that is completely different from the other pages and with having that out of the way I'm going to bring the sections that we um, have very similar to this on the other pages bringing them here and uh, adding the design the new design and the new um, text uh, to them the rest of the sections are fairly new so that means I'm going to build them from scratch but what's important here to note is um, we have a clear structure for the other pages so I'm trying to keep that structure and that um, develop language uh, for this page as well so if somebody else comes here um, you know another developer uh, won't feel that this page is much different from the other pages so now that we have the whole layout built it's time to add a little bit a sparkle of animations to the page uh, starting with the hero section 
as I mentioned early, uh, I'm going to add something similar to what we have on the home page, uh, just elements moving around the text, but I also want to give it some depth. So I'm going to use Z index to play around with the text, both layers, so spanning them into different spans, uh, separating the, the, the flux annual and uh, Black Friday, and also put the images uh, in between. So behind them, between them and in front of them. And then adding a little bit of animation, I want to move them inward uh, so it looks like a breathing effect similar to what we have on the home page again. Um, but also on top of that, because these are 2D images, they are, they are 3D looking but 2D images, uh, I want to not just move them, I want to add a little bit of skew. This is what I'm doing here. Um, so just changing the perspective or it looks like they are changing the perspective with the laptop trying to uh, fake it like it's closing the lid a little bit uh, with the Webflow logo, maybe that it's uh, coming towards the camera with the T. Uh, it looks like a little bit it's falling down uh, all in this breathing effect just by skewing, skewing them a little bit. Uh, not too much because it will look uh, a bit strange. The second animation I want to add is for this section for the courses uh, where we uh, showcase the courses and each course has a, um, its own logo with a circular text. And these circular texts are nice, but sometimes a bit uh, difficult to read. So for this part, I actually uh, exported these two separately for each logo. The inside part is separate from the outside part, uh, so I can uh, animate the outside circle. Uh, and it's also important to note that I'm animating that counterclockwise. So when you are trying to read the uh, words, they are not running from your eyes, they are actually coming to your eyes to uh, read them uh, easier. This is a nice animation tip for this type of uh, circular uh, words. Um, I'm just adding um, a hover animation so when you hover on these uh, you you can read them and it repeats if you uh, keep on the hover. Um, other than that uh, there is nothing too special about this animation here. The rest of the page doesn't have too much uh, animations uh, except for this testimonial part, which is just a parallax animation. Um, the student's image uh, is going to move uh, relative to the viewport as you scroll. Uh, so it just adds an, a nice touch of uh, parallax there. So for the FAQ section, I don't need to add any uh, interaction since it exists from the other uh, pages and it works perfectly fine. I just had to uh, change the assets, but I kept the classes for the assets the same. Uh, so um, the code triggers them the same way. And now for the last part, making it mobile responsive. It's fairly easy, especially for the sections that we brought from the other pages because they are already mobile responsive and they are perfectly fine. We don't need to change anything, but that's just a couple sections. For the rest of them, I'm going to um, uh, make them mobile responsive each. Um, something to note here, mobile responsive, it's not something to think about at the end. Even though it's the last step I'm going to do, it's not the last thing I'm thinking about. It's important to have that in mind with each step, uh, with each component that you add, each, each div block that you make. You need to uh, be mindful of how would that look on mobile, how many uh, components can we put next to each other and how are we going to use flexbox and grid so we can turn that design uh, into a mobile responsive design later. So even though I'm doing this now, uh, I've been thinking about this along the way. That's why it's not a difficult part, it's just going through everything and making it mobile responsive. All right, guys, now that we are done with the Webflow build, I'm going to send this to Ismail and Ron and the rest of the team ask for feedback and they might uh, ask for some slight changes regarding the animations and maybe uh, some layouts. Uh, but because we already had a design that was approved, uh, I assume there won't be many changes. I hope this was helpful and you learned something. Uh, please feel free to comment below what type of Webflow um, content you would like to watch next. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and thank you for watching. Peace.